Venom Let There Be Carnage. Uh, I think this is the final trailer. I don't think we're gonna get another one. Uh, we just might. I think this trailer is going to focus a little bit more on Cletus Cassidy, Mr. Carnage himself, played by Woody Harrelson. Took me a while to get to the name. Um, and I love that Tom Hardy is back playing Venom, doing another crazy voice just like he did with Bane in the Dark Knight trilogy. If you are new here and you enjoy what you see, consider hitting that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, keep it on all notifications, and if you just want to be nice, hit the like button as well, and let's see what this trailer is all about. And without further ado, enough jibber jabber, let's jump into this right freaking now all i ever wanted in this world is carnage oh that's horrifying that's just horrifying we should be out there snacking on bad guys you know tom hardy is having so much fun playing this character doing the voiceover Ooh, some therapy Naomi Harris's Harris character. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's funny. You just headbutted him. To give you my story. People love serial killers. True. Why me? In the sense that they're interesting. I get it. It's mine. I have tasted blood before and that is He bit him. It. Is that how he's gonna get the A little bit of the symbiote in him? Oh look at that transformation. Oh yes! Dude it looks so realistic the way he's walking. Oh! Oh! Oh, he's gonna destroy so many things. I'm spitting everywhere. Ah, oh, just like the comics. Yes! <laughs> you better keep that promise, he's gonna rough you up. Or you at least give him chocolate. Oh. Like family. Oh wow. You could just say I'm happy for you. That was going to be us. I am happy for you. No! God, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, Venom. Oh, I love that. Wait, she still decided to go for somebody else? She became Lady Venom. I thought she was super into that. And all of a sudden, she's still going with someone else? Like, what the hell? Okay, I, I guess. Weird. Um... But yeah, it, it, it makes sense because just like the comics, because of him having this symbiote in him, they don't get to be together, you know, because it keeps ruining their relationship. I do like the little tease when it comes to Naomi Harris's character of what she's going to become. I think that she's going to be part of the family that Carnage is talking about, which is his family, because I bet that he wants to make sure that other, you know, versions of him, which have some classic generic names, by the way, he wants them to come to life. I did not expect for Cletus Cassidy to get the Phenom symbiote or, yeah, basically the Carnage symbiote in him like this by biting Tom Hardy but it makes sense from a you know okay he's a serial killer standpoint and he's kind of you know 
cannibalistic. He has that cannibalistic behavior to him. That's why he wanted to bite him in the first place. So it makes sense that this is how he would get it. I do love that it's happening in the prison because that's where baby carnage which is the spawn of Venom itself, of the Venom symbiote, that this is how it was created, which is something that I've also seen in the 90s Spider-Man animation, the animated series. So I love that that's the case. As I said, it looks realistic. Yeah, of course it's, you know, CGI, but the way he's walking, it feels like carnage. It moves like carnage. Even Venom has everything of the first movie again, just with a few sparks of change, which I really appreciate. And I do hope that as much as I wanted Venom to be part of Spider-Man and I want those two to interact, that Sony still makes a lot of money with this movie. And at one point that Sony, Sony, please, that they decide to let these two characters at least you know, encounter each other in some shape or form. Let them have at least a conversation, even if we don't get a lot, even if you don't really want to, you know, make your Spider-Man work with your Venom, which is weird because they're both yours. You're just, you know, loaning it off to Marvel. Please let it happen, Sony. That's all we need. Because how can you have Venom without Spider-Man? Yes, you can make it work, and they have, clearly. But still, you know, we want to see them interact with each other. That was it regarding this one. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next reaction video, reaction highlights, or full-length reaction watch-along. As usual, as always, bye!